Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I thought I would give you an updated tour of the van. I changed a few things. What we're looking at now is the front seat where Gizmo rides. I have a cooling pad for him. This is a Coleman cooling pad. I bought it at Big Lots, and it was 12 or $14. So that's his seat. Let's go around here to the side. <clears throat> I have this carabiner up here. This is to hook his leash to, so if something happens and I slam on brakes, he doesn't go flying. I changed the inside a little bit. I just wasn't happy with the way I had the Granny Mobile laid out, so I changed a little bit of stuff. As you can see, I changed the cover on the bed. I had a gray blanket on there. And now I've got this handmade quilt that I bought for a quarter at the thrift store. I thought it looked better. Let me get in here. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I have my cooler there. You saw that before. For short trips, longer trips, I have a refrigerator that will go there. I put bungee cords across so that it won't slide forward. I bought some curtains at Walmart, and I decided to put the balances up there. That's just a shower rod that I bought. And if you remember, I had a storage ottoman, and I had my um, portable toilet, or commode, in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but I didn't like that, so... I tried it a couple times. I tried it different ways, and I just opted to use my bedside commode. I just put a blanket over it. It's a seat for when you don't need it. And I have the, um, I guess you call it pan that comes with it. That's for number one. <clears throat> Underneath it, I have the collapsible commode that I bought. I think it was tri-tips, I believe. Anyway... I put it under there in case of number two. If you've got bags and horse pellets, or if I have a leakage or anything, it catches it. Christmas tin is my trash can. In the basket over there, I have bagged horse pellets. Some people use kitty litter, some people use cedar. Horse pellets were a 40 pound bag for, I think it was $7 or $8 at Tractor Supply. I have wipes in the basket also. I'll put this back down. The seat right here is toilet tissue and wipes and horse pellets. That's the back of the driver's seat. I finally put some curtains up. I bought these kitchen curtains at Walmart. And I was trying to figure out how to put them up there. I couldn't figure out how to make them stick. I thought about Velcro and just all kinds of things. So what I did was back behind here, I put a tension rod. And I'm hoping that's going to hold. If not, I might have to use a little bit of Velcro or something to, to make it sturdier. I don't know. These are Gizmo's collapsible bowls, if you're wondering. Of course, paper towels just hung with a bungee cord. I do have Reflectix for the smaller windows like that. And also the front driver passenger windows. I do have Reflectix for that. But and I know these curtains are saying you can see through them. But if you look, let's see if I can get it where you can see. Right behind here is the blinds that pull down. So I have the blinds and the curtains. And that should be okay. It's not like I'm going to be sitting in here with a bright light anyway. I was thinking, what else did I change? I've showed you this bag before I bought for 99 cents. And what I did was ask my aunt to put two buttonholes right here and right here. And what I plan to do is hang it on that door. 
I think a couple of hooks in the door and that will work. I know you're asking what's in the back of this seat. It's just paper towels, wipes, uh, bags, citronella sticks. That's about it. I have my fan here. I have two of these. This is my little tray I showed you before that I'll sit my coffee pot and I got this basket to put my coffee bags and tea bags in. And my so-called coffee pot is that little kettle that I showed you that I bought for $1.49. I had this for food, but I decided to put my extra blankets in there and also my small little kettle and my um, coffee cup is in there. So I found that I had a rectangle basket I'm going to put my food in. That way I make it easy to get to and it'll sit in the front seat well the front floor it gives them a little bit of front seat but everything else is pretty much the same that's my weighted blanket in the corner my personal fan the bucket that i showed you before the step stool for the back because i have a little bit of trouble getting in and out underneath that is a um, camping stove and an electric burner and then i have the curtains on this window here so I think I got it ready to go camping. All I need to do when I get ready to go is put Gizmo, his food, and my food in, and we'll be ready. Let me take this bag over here to the door and show you what I'm talking about. Hold on just a minute. Okay. I get a couple of hooks and hang it right here, and then it'll hang down. So that's as far back as I can get with me holding it. For you to see it was an ashtray there and I have the ashtray but it keeps falling out so that's it we're ready to go maybe next week or the week after because the temperatures are supposed to get down into the 50s and 60s at night and the 80s during the day so I think that would be perfect camping weather all right guys I have some cleaning to do and I'm going to see my Aunt today she's working on a quilt so I want to go look at it look at it excuse me she's working on a baby quilt for somebody and no I know I'm going to ask does she take orders no she's doing this as a favor she does not take orders she does quilts at her leisure and um, she gives them to family so she just finished one and this lady asked for help on this baby quilt so my aunt's helping her do it but anyway, that's pretty much it. The granny mobile is ready. All I need is to find me a, a like a, uh, what do you call it? License plate tag. I want one that says granny mobile to go on the front. But other than that, she's ready to go. All right, guys, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day.